yeah, this is, these are off of, uh, I've got about 40,000 pounds. I'm a crystal nut. Crystals are wormholes. You want to be able to see, feel, hear, and touch more? Crystals are the way. They pierce all dimensions. And crystals, remember, are a very cheap way to say what it is. It's like calling the body the body. This is an interdimensional gem. Let's put this, uh, and so uh, you can, solar cycle 24, when, does, when is it maximum? When do the Mayans say that uh, the, the end of the world? No, it's the end of the cycle. Okay, you can see this is right in line solar cycle 24. Every 11.2 years the sun goes through a sine wave. Okay, good. Let's, uh, let's see, turn this guy on like this. We got a, probably can't see it too well in here. Yeah, in the, uh, yeah, you really can't see it so good in here. Otherwise, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll change. It's, uh, Ah, there we go. It may not fit there, but we'll see. Yeah, this is a really cool, remember, crystals are energetic. Um, you really can't see it so good, but I'm actually, it's a, it's a, it's a to, to me, really what you're trying to do is become that, a crystal. When you lose your silicon, what's this made out of? Someone gets, someone gets, and she was too fast. Yeah. Okay. These are made out of silicon and oxygen only. These are made out of silicon and oxygen only. This thing is a crystal. What is it made out of? Silicon and oxygen. And if you lose your silicon, what happens to you? You lose your connection. Not like you think. Remember, this was a connection in conductivity, and silicon is a connection into the conductivity into this world. This is the cellular world. This is to make you so you can get this, that glowing head. Your brain is a silicon chip. How does this computer work? Where is Silicon Valley? What do they make there? You want more memory? What do you put in? More chip, more silicon, don't you? But you want more of this. What do you get? Silicon. What's everybody lacking? Silicon. Okay. Three generations of cooked food, everybody's got very lacking silicon potentials. Can you refill it? Very quickly. Well, uh, first thing is just like anything, you have to refill your storages. And so we have a uh, very bioactive silica. Uh, some of the ones I used to use, but these taste terrible, was BioSil. See the crystal on the front there? That's all this thing's made out of silicon. Orthosilicic acid. I don't use this anymore because what does this smell like? People really don't like this. Oops. <laughs> Poof. Oh, it smells like fish. <laughs> and I haven't had any fish in a long time. Anyways, it smells like fish. It's got a, if I do that, it'll probably shoot in your nose too, so. I trust you. Yeah, this has the most terrible stench. Poof. So really people don't like to use it. What we use now is a tasteless, odorless silicon, so you'll use lots of it. You don't just put this in your, in, your, in your water. You rub this on your skin. Every day, what I do is I put on magnesium hexahydrate. Ever heard of that before? Not magnesium chloride. We use that too, but that's only about 30% maximum pure magnesium. This is magnesium, 100% pharmaceutical grade hexahydrate. This is a finishing product. You spray this like this, you charge it like this. It doesn't go in unless you do this. And then you put it on and you rub it in until it gets stuck like that. Okay. Uh, 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 it's going in me. Remember, it's oil. Okay. And this is how you get magnesium in you, and you don't put it in unless you do it this way. It has to do it like that. And you'll notice when it's going in because I'm frictioning in it. I'm making it do it. Just going on like this for two seconds is wasting your time. So what I do, and this really works you good, 
It takes me about three or four minutes in the morning until I get out of the shower to put this on, head to toe. Wow. Every day. Now you've got your full load of magnesium. Put it on like this. You put it on your scalp. Mm. I only rub it in. Mm. Mm. You have to really push it in. If not, it doesn't work. So how do pe people say, how do you get thin skin? Feed your skin. You've been feeding yourself through here, right? You know you could feed yourself enemas, right? Bypass the stomach. Most people really don't like enemas, do you? You can give yourself an enema through your skin. It's very simple. Um, Magnesium is probably one of the most deficient besides B12 in vegetarians. Okay. How many vegetarians are? How many people that uh, are eating pork here right now? Okay. And right now if you're eating pork, it's really hard if you stopped eating it because this is what I had to do. You can't just stop flesh. Remember, you got creatures inside your body. The way I did it was I went from pork to beef to chicken because I was going from the slowest vibration. The pig is the slowest vibration out of all the flesh. You get rid of the pig. Go to now. What's the next slowest vibration? Cow. Okay. All cows, antibiotics, hormones, vaccines, everything that's in the flesh transfers to your flesh. You eat a piece of fish, it's got mercury in it. Where do you think it goes? Through you? No. It, attacks itself, attaches itself to you, goes from flesh to flesh. It accumulates, not only in the flesh of the fish, but it accumulates as soon as you eat it in your flesh. Would you eat fish? Maybe at one point in time, it might have been something worthy just because you really didn't understand. Remember, we're not supposed to kill anything that has a face. It's unconscious. And people say, well, how does, how does that work? Let's just take for, for instance really quick, because remember, it's all reasoning. You know you have different brains. You have a reptilian brain, right? Okay. Is it the first, what's the first brain to be born? Reptilian brain, right? First brain. Okay, you have a reptilian brain, an amphibian brain. Did you breathe in mama's womb? Have you seen the movie The Abyss? Can you rebreathe and learn how to breathe in water? Yes, they do it in the military all the time. You just forgot. But you did, didn't you? Everybody breathed in mama's womb, didn't they? Okay? Even in test tube, you breathed liquid. So you're reptilian, amphibian, mammalian, bird, and unactivated human. Huh. Let's just say, for instance, this is true. So let's say, okay, you're reptilian. Do you eat reptiles? Anybody here? Eat reptiles. Okay? Anybody take care of reptiles? You can see whatever you take care of and don't eat, that means that basically that part of your brain really flowers. You're a mammal, aren't you? You say you have a mammalian brain. Does anybody eat mammals? Now, think of it. If you have mammalian architecture, if you have mammalian blueprints, do you think that that would be smart to eat one of your children? You are partially activated human. You have all the DNA and architectural blueprints of all the mammalians, reptilian, bird, amphib, all this, this idea. So you can see, what happens if you wanted to become conscious? Let's say if you stopped eating anything that's reptilian, mammalian, bird, and you know, the, the let's go through them. Reptilian, mammalian, bird, and bird is, as you can see, what are birds? What's so special about a bird? Do they need a map to fly? They're all hematite. They're magnetic. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Okay, this is sort of like alien ideas. So each of the DNA, we're an experiment the way I look at it. Each of us are here to, to really, when you look at it, it's a genetic profile, isn't it? Everybody here is growing their genetics in certain ways. So let's say if you have an, a, a reptilian brain, and you have a mammalian brain, amphibian brain, if you just really understood this and said, I'm going to stop all of perversion of killing anything that basically is in my blueprint. 
So go plant-based for six months, but now you have to make sure that you get enough nutrition because your body's more carbon-based after one generation, two or three or four or five generations. It really can't process plants that easy. You notice how a lot of people go back to eating meat when they start doing vegetarian because they get weak, they get sick. Why? What's that? Not getting enough nutrients. Not getting enough nutrients. And or what they're doing is, is they're, they're really not realizing that it's a, a stair step. In order for you to really uptake different types of fuels, it means that the creatures that live at that level have to change the next level. Very simple. So the earth steward idea is very simple. You don't kill anything, 21 days, and after about 21 days, what happens is the tapeworms and different types of things, they lose a directive program that they had you under a spell before. And this is very hard for people to grab. Remember, this is it's a slow movement. Parasites are elusive. They're not gonna show you. Do you really think you're hungry? Think of it. Or are they hungry? When a person goes to smoke, what are they doing? They're feeding, aren't they? They're not smoking. They don't even get high. And once the, the parasites feed, what do they do? They say, you can go back to your short, pointless life and I'm gonna call on you in two hours again <laughs> to feed me. Okay? <laughs> but you can see, this is a, remember, this is a, this, and so how do you stop this psychic parasite? How do you stop it? First, you have to realize that it's there. To really realize. And so you really can't stop anything until you observe your feelings and your thoughts behind yourself. Everybody really needs to be able to read Parasite Rex and see the genius behind the system. And if you really knew that this was true, all you're going to want to do is take the genius parasites, no, they're your children, and transform them into another ring. All the parasites that you call parasites only live in the system here because they're cleaning up a bunch of garbage. Once we start eating these higher profiles of foods, these parasites actually turn into your saviors. They clean you up, as they're doing now, but they're cleaning you up because you're actually dirtying your body up. So if you clean your body up, what do these things do? They leave you if they don't need you, and or what they do is they protect you, as they did for me. They ate the poison up. I ate up all this stuff. It didn't bother me a bit. Okay, and in fact, I feel like I got cleansed from that, that snake bite. And you know, being in the medical profession there, this is not normal. To be able to, to have uh, this, this type of reaction after a type of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, a, a just an insidious bomb that went off in your body. So, uh, let's just, I'm going to jump through, let me just jump down a few times here. Okay, we're going to, um, let's get down to, we're going to go down, okay, now, who's running the show? This is one little part here we want to show. This is, remember this one here? Okay, who's running the show inside this body right now? Is it you? Or is it this thing behind the scenes? Okay. Who's behind the curtain? You want to see? Sure. See, no, no, no. This is, she, she just said no, you know why? Think, think of it. Why did she just say no? She, she didn't say no. It's what lives inside her said no, because if she sees this, that means that we haven't got a life. Okay, let's go to the next one there. Okay, this is biological terrain modification. Very simple. Do you get skinny when you do this? Only if you do it incorrectly. Otherwise, your body really changes to be vital. If you'd starve yourself to death, water fasting, that's not smart. <laughs> you got plastics inside you. This isn't 250 years